In this video I want to show you how to work the other side of the setup triangle of the aileron shawl. So basically I worked the first half, I ended with a row two, so um, my yarn, which is my tail, is on the side of the sloping um, edge of the triangle. So basically the stitches I set up using Judy's Magic Cast On are still on my wire. So I'll just pull through the other side of my needle, other end of my needle, sorry. And I'll pull through this one as well to start working with. So now I basically have those 20 stitches on the needle again. So I'll follow the instructions and knit through the back loop for all of these stitches. Until I reach the last three stitches on the needle. So in order to make this easier, I mean you can see the I cord over here. Um, these three stitches are twisted around so if you look at the back it would look fine but we want, to look, want it to look fine on this side in particular as it's the right side of the triangle or of the work. So I need to switch these around so that first one over there or the last one over there is the first one on the needle. So in order to show this easily, I got a, a helping needle over here. You can use a DPN or another, um, or an interchangeable or another circular, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just to, to slip those stitches over. So I'll just slip all three stitches onto my helping needle. And then basically I'll just turn this one half around. So I'll just turn it like this. And then I would need to slip my stitches over on um, my working needle again. So in this case it's kind of easy with an interchangeable. So as you see, um, now the eye cord looks a bit better on this side and I can just knit the stitches and start on my row two um, as instructed in the pattern. So here we go. So you see I keep my eye cord in place so it looks neat. <laughs> 